So are you playing or cleaning? You putting your toe jam in mama's face. Yeah. Emma got her ears pierced. Hi, Porter. Mom, you don't owe us anything. I know, will you close the door, please? We had to close the windows this morning, and I'm not gonna let you guys play outside today. Oh, something happened to Lucy, she's crying. You, I don't know if you can see it, all of that right there is smoke. Seriously, close the door. <laughs> I was telling them this morning we had to close all the windows because that line right there is not a cloud, it is smoke from behind the mountains over there that are on fire. But the entire sky is like hazy and foggy looking. I look foggy looking. So we are going to be staying inside today. Toe jam. You putting your toe jam in mama's face? Yes, look at those toes. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Look at those toes. Hey, you walking on mama? You walking on mama? <laughs> toe looks like in my nose. <laughs> says, thank you for the nice warm bed. Love, Glitter Wings. So that fairy really likes your bed that you made for her, huh? So you're writing her a little note back. What do you want it to say? Can you wake me up at night? No, I don't want her to wake you up. You have to sleep at night. No, I want her to come in my bed and I want her to wake me up and we can see each other. Oh. Can you come into my bed and sleep in my bed? We kind of had a slow morning getting started around this place. It is a mess and I think I just was not motivated to clean up. But Emma, I don't even think I told you Emma to clean up your room originally. But she's been in here trying to organize stuff. Your cedar chest looks a lot better than it did before. I told her to come up with a donation pile, a garbage pile, and then to clean everything else up. And you said you did not want to donate anything? Okay, mm -hmm. I just wanted her to be able to know what you have and use what you have and what you don't use to get rid of. But she says that she plays with everything that she has. So if you play with everything that you have, then you can keep it. I got five bracelets, three rings on, and I got one necklace. So are you playing or cleaning? Playing now, because I already cleaned. Okay, you look beautiful and fancy. Are you going out? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, you dropped a jewel. <laughs> Uh-oh, you dropped another jewel. That goes onto to this part. Mm -hmm. Can I help to make things for you? Yeah. I made earrings. And I got her ears pierced. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I just use something different. Do you want your ears pierced? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I can wear earrings. You want to? Mm-hmm. Today? Nope. In one year. Okay. One more year when you're eight years old you can, okay? Because you are cute the way you are. I really liked Ruby's idea about kids' art projects and school projects. During the week, they don't like to get rid of their stuff, so I just keep it in this desk, and then at the end of the week, which is today, today is Saturday, I am getting rid of all of it, but I am going to just record a little bit. Cooper has been learning all about Africa. You can see all his cute colorings and his totem pole and all that fun stuff. And it has been around for a week, and so now I'm just gonna get rid of it and keep my house nice and tidy. I think the kids are up to something, so let's go check that out. Can I come in? Wait, come on, let's go. Oh boy, hi, Porter. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, the. Oh. Cut that part just for a second. Okay, that beautiful noise is the key to turn the camera on. Whoa, shake it. I also put makeup on him. You did? Close Let me eyes, see. Porter. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, close your eyes. I put makeup on his eyes. Close. <laughs> you look so fancy. I want to ask you a question. 
Do you like playing dress up with Emma's dress ups or with Cooper's superheroes? Mm -hmm. That's what you like better? Mm -hmm. No. No. Oh, you gotta go close the door in the van. Hurry. I'm having the kids help me put stuff away. In fact, get in the van and make sure there's nothing that needs to go into the house, okay? Walk around the van and grab anything that goes inside the house. The kids just saw that. No, I'm sorry, that's not ours, buddy. It looks like a lot of fun, but it's not ours, okay? Today is one of those days that reminds me of living back in Kansas City and kind of how like my routine of a Saturday went. Landon was usually gone up on campus and that is where he is today. He's been gone all day doing homework and doing assignments up on campus. And I've just been kind of dinking around the house and the kids have been playing. And they're just down here playing, writing on the marker board. We're working on some of Cooper's sight words. What words did you learn today? Or have you been working on? Uh. Oh, and. and oh and and yeah exactly except for one thing that would not happen in Kansas City was getting a text from my mom saying get a babysitter we're going we're coming over and we're gonna go to dinner but my mom still owes Landon a birthday dinner mom you don't owe us anything but she said go get a babysitter let's go to dinner tonight so that's what we are going to do tonight I was outside just putting a few things away and I want to show you guys the sky. So it's like perfectly clear blue sky over there. And look at that. Behind the mountains it looks actually kind of pretty. But I feel so bad for all the fires that are over on the other side of that mountain. You can just see all that smoke. Ugh. I am testing my kids' patience right now. I know Grandma and Grandpa are going to walk in the door, and they are not excused until I say you are excused. Emma, you need to. Emma, keep your bum on the chair. Hi. Welcome. I'm up. Oh, Porter lost. I said <laughs> Porter lost. Emma, you are not excused, honey. <laughs> I was testing them. Did you give them both hugs? Did you give them both of them hugs? You were not excused. Go wash your hands off, Kate. And just like that, we are home with full bellies and what do they call it? Like a food coma? Yes. Like you just want to like crash after you eat because you just ate so much. But we came home to kids that need to be taken care of. Porter, are you behind the deep freezer? Yeah, my bear's behind there too. Oh boy. Okay, you can't climb back there. That's scary. No, even Captain Underpants doesn't climb under there, okay? We came home and the babysitter was like, um, they pulled the swing out of the ceiling. There's a hole in our ceiling now right there from the swing. Yeah, that's what happened. That's why the swing was down. Because it like fell out. I'm not so mad about right. that. I think it was because you guys were like fighting. <laughs> That's why I was like, dang it. Get what everything. else do we have back there? Oh, there's all sorts of treasures. There's Legos. No. Thank you, get more stuff. Did you get I think he did. Oh, you got everything? Yeah, not too bad. We are just getting ready for bed here and Cooper's clothes were on the floor and I feel like a broken record when I'm constantly saying, fold your clothes, put them away, put them away. I will, look how good you did. You just folded that all by yourself. That looks really good for a five year old. I told my boys, I know boys are just messy in general. No, not true, that, not, that might not be the case with all boys, but my boys will not be messy boys and I'm just trying to teach them at a very young age, put your clothes away when you are done. When you get your jammies on, don't just throw your clothes on the floor and have mom pick them up for you. Like, I want them to learn to put their clothes away every morning and night, huh? Are you doing a good job at it? We're working on it every day. I just don't want my boys to have like stinky, gross, like, the typical teenage boy bedroom to me just does not appeal. And so I'm trying to teach them to have clean rooms. And be good big brothers. Look at you giving her hugs. Cooper, I think there's a really big sensitive side to you where you just love people and you want to do hugs and kisses all the time. 
and you're a sweet boy. Oh, my turn. Mommy's turn. Okay, this is our sign to say goodnight to everyone. You wanna say goodnight to everyone? Good night, everyone.